Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to make a digital collage in Adobe Illustrator. Before you start, make sure all of your PNGs are saved into a folder on your desktop. We're going to begin by opening Adobe Illustrator. Open Illustrator using the launch pad on Mac. Open a new file by clicking on the Create New button in the top left of your window. Go to the Art and Illustration section, view all presets, and choose Letter. This is the rectangular printer paper size. Change the units from points to inches so the measurements are easier to understand. Make the orientation vertical and select two artboards, then click Create. Step 1. Paste items from your PNG folder into Illustrator. Bring up the folder with your PNGs. Use Finder on Mac and then drag and drop your files into Illustrator. Use the hotkeys Control or Command Plus and Control or Command Minus to zoom in and out. Your images might be high resolution, so you may need to resize them to fit your pages. Hold the Shift key while resizing if you don't want your images to warp when you stretch them. For this project, you may only need to use one layer. Use the hotkey Control or Command Square Bracket to send selections backwards or forward. Have fun playing with the arrangement of your PNGs. The freedom you have here is what makes digital collage such a cool skill to have. Remember to save halfway through so you don't lose your progress. Save as an Illustrator file .ai in your PNG folder. We're going to take a second and talk about blending modes in Adobe, because this is something that's really transferable across Photoshop, Premiere, and Illustrator, so it's very useful to know. This lighthouse is made up of two different lighthouses, one for pattern and one for texture, and they're combined using blending modes. Blending modes work like filters and change how the selection on top interacts with the selections below. The categories here show you the different kind of effect you'll get when you use that blending mode. There's a link to a more detailed video in the description below. You can access blending modes through the Appearance tab. If you don't see it, you can find it through Windows Appearance in the toolbar across the top of your window. For this effect, I used the Darken blending mode to ghost the bricks on top to the lighthouse below. Once I was happy with it, I decided to group them so that they move as one object. You can do this by going right-click Group on PC or Control-click Group on Mac. The next thing we're going to do is check out the Effect Gallery. With your object selected, click on Effects Effect Gallery. Your object will automatically open in a new window. Play around with the sliders and folders to explore the different effects. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You can always go back with Control or Command Z if you need to undo once you're out of this window. Use Control or Command minus to zoom out in Effect Gallery if your image is too big. Sometimes it takes a second for the effect to load after you apply it, so just give it a minute after the gallery closes. The last step is masking. Once you're happy with your work, click on the Rectangle tool from your main toolbar on the left and make a crop to the area you want to keep. For me, this was two pages. For you, it might be a 12 by 12 inch square. If you click with the rectangle tool instead of clicking and dragging, it will prompt a dialog box that asks you for your rectangle dimensions. To mask, highlight everything by clicking and dragging and use the hotkey Control or Command 7 to crop your image. To save and export, highlight everything. Right or Control click and choose Export Selection Using the Format section, select Times 3 and PNG. Use the Folder icon to make sure it saves to your PNG folder. Click Export Asset and you're done! You will find your file in the Times 3 subfolder because we chose to save the file three times enlarged. By this point, you'll already have made your first digital collage. Remember to always save, 
Control or command Z to undo. Everything is an experiment, so try not to be hard on yourself if it doesn't turn out how you want the first time. And your next piece is definitely going to be better than your last one. Until next time, the Creative Ace Team. <laughs>